Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get shaders for Minecraft 1.16.1. This is for Java edition for Minecraft. And I'm going to show you step by step everything you need, what files to download. And you can also look in the description for all the links to what I'm showing you down below. But let's just go straight into it. So what you're going to do, go into the description and click on the link for optifine.net slash downloads. Optifine is the best add-on if you want to add shaders to your Minecraft. It also gives you a huge FPS boost because, long story short, Java is not the most optimized program for performance. Optifine does a great job of boosting FPS and you need to download the latest version to use it. So what you're going to do, you see Minecraft 1.16.1, Optifine, going to hit download. It'll bring you to this link, now in the top right you're going to have to wait a couple seconds and skip this little advertisement. And now this is the official download link, you'll see it download in the bottom left. And what you're going to do is just run the application, make sure you save it to somewhere where you can see it later. Now it'll bring you to this window, Optifine HD Ultra G2 for Minecraft 1.16.1. If you don't need to move any of the files, just keep it how it is and hit install. It'll say Optifine is successfully installed and you can close the page. Now open your Minecraft launcher and you should see in the bottom left Optifine 1.16.1, make sure it's on. And now you have Optifine on your main Minecraft so you can go ahead and press play and launch. Alright guys, I'm in a Minecraft world right now. As you can see, everything is running smoothly and it shows your FPS in the top left. This is what I'm getting right now. Running around. Look at all these flowers. Alright, now that we know the Optifine works, let's move on to downloading shaders. Alright guys, I'm on one of the shaders websites. Now, if you're having trouble deciding which shader you want to use or you're not sure yet which one is the best, I highly recommend you watch this video. He really gives you an in-depth guide of the comparison between each shader in different scenarios like grass, underground, in the nether and it'll really give you a good decision on which one you want. Because to be fair, every shader is different in their own way and depending on what experience you want for Minecraft, it can be different. However, for my case and what I've used before, I'm going to be using slider shaders. The links for some shaders will be in the description. I'll be linking sliders while also linking other ones that I highly recommend. But watch the video before you make any decision because they're all different. But for now, I'm going to download slider shaders. Once you hit the link on the website, you're going to scroll down and you're going to hit downloads on the left. These are all the versions that you have to download. Now we're at one version 1.28. This will probably change by the time you're seeing this. But just see on the top, these is the most recent version. There's different levels of the shaders that you could download. They all range from light all the way to extreme lighting. But basically what this means is depending on how good your PC is, is what you should choose for your shader. So for example, if you have a less powerful PC, maybe go for light or medium. But if you have a pretty good graphics card, I would say go for extreme or uh, high motion blur. But for me, medium works the best in terms of performance. So I'm gonna download medium. Go ahead and hit download here. It'll bring you to the second download link. You're gonna have to wait five seconds. Don't hit anything. Just wait till the top right says skip. Now you'll be bringing to this Mediafire download page. You just hit the download green button and you're fine. All right, now I drag this to my desktop, slider shaders, vibrant shaders. So now that we have the shader installed, we're just gonna go back into Minecraft. While this is loading guys, I just wanna say you must have WinRAR installed. I'm gonna link a WinRAR download in the description because that is the zip file that you're gonna use to just drag and drop right into the folder of the Minecraft shaders file. So we're just gonna go on a single player world here. Now the Optifine is still working, we're gonna have to hit escape. Now go to options, video settings, and shaders. So this is the list of shaders that you will have to see. For you guys, this will, there will be no option here. It'll just say off or internal. So in order to do this, you're gonna have to hit shaders folder right here. It'll bring you out of Minecraft and to your desktop. And what you're just gonna have to do is drag sliders vibrant shaders right into the folder. And you're done right there. And when you relaunch Minecraft, as you see, I've already downloaded the medium, but it should just say sliders shaders v1.28 medium. So let me go ahead and load that up. And once you double click, you can press done. And congratulations, you're now using shaders in Minecraft. Awesome. Looks very cool, guys. And, you know, depending on the shader, this will look different. But for me, slider shaders looks the best, in my opinion. And it runs pretty smoothly. Now, for you guys, you might experience really choppy or laggy performance. However, I am making a video soon on optimizing all the settings in Optifine. 
and shader performance so that way you could double or even triple your shaders before i was getting up to 30 fps now i'm at pretty much at a smooth like 100 or so after that you can close the download pages and you're pretty much good to go you have now installed shaders Thank you guys for watching my video. Be sure to stay subscribed if you want to know how to lower frames and Optifine. That video is coming very soon. Be sure to subscribe to Booty Giggler. I'm only at 35 subs right now. Any new sub will be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.